UFC featherweight division fight. So here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness, uh -huh. and you laugh just like that, because you know how much of a joke this is. You wanna avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado, I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. And he comes through with a big knee. He's giving him so many different things right now. Hook is there again. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Gonzalez. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Watch knees to the body. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Muay Thai plump. Horn sounds for the end of round one. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Dig and kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make you. Oh, 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 you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Trying to stay in this fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, just misses with the kick. Beautiful. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Liver kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Pretty good knee to the body by Lee. Nice loop and punch. Switching stances here. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, single collar tie now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big leg kick land. He's really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Nice punch by Lee. Lands flush with that right hand. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Oh! Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Back and forth we go. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another ball. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Final minute to go here in round four. Huge block there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely fresh in that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Beautiful kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 45 seconds remain in the round. Leg kick checked by Gonzalez. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Gonzalez gets touched by that leg kick. Kick attempt, kick attempt, kick attempt. Oh. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision.